Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. So today it's Wednesday, and guess what? Uh, the market is still going down. The market is still actually selling. Uh, so let's go straight to that actually and see. So yeah, uh, as you see, uh, this is actually GBP JPY uh, on the daily time frame, and it shows that uh, the market was going up very nice. But you can see around this area, the market did break out. So let's try to go very closer and there uh, and see what's really happening for our time frame. For our time frame, you can see that the market did actually give us a, some very nice uh, breakouts, some very nice breakouts here. You see? and we did take that sell and now the market is pushing lower yes the market can keep pushing lower uh, for some time and maybe the market can even reach uh, actually that level around 149 this is gbp jpy by the way uh, for those maybe who don't actually uh, see that clearly so yeah the market is actually uh, on a sell after we broke out of that uh, support so yeah, uh, I hope maybe I just wanted to show you that actually. So now we are on Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. What's really happening on Bitcoin? Yes, uh, it seems like the market actually is still respecting our trend. It seems like the market is still respecting our trend like nonstop. So what I see here is, is quite straightforward. Uh, you can see that yes, the market it's been going down for some time and yeah i i did explain that for several times and it still it seems like the market is still going down it seems like the market is not actually trying to stop now so what we can do here is yes uh, we can try to go closer there and see what's really happening but if we go closer there we can see that yes the market is actually still respecting the resistance we try to see uh, i thought maybe the, yesterday the market was about to break this area and if it broke uh, we were going to get our uh, buy pending order around that area and that did not actually happen so which means the market can do what the market can okay let me, let's remove that the market still have that chance to break this support area and from there we can say yes the market is about to do what the market is about to go down the market might start to do what to go down I hope you see that. I hope you see that because that's what I see actually. Uh, that's what I see that yes, that might happen. And if it happens, uh, there is enough chance for the market to break. And we can have a sell, a very nice sell for those who actually trade uh, Bitcoin. Or you can just say, you know what, this is a wedge. So you have options for the market to break above or to break below, something like that. So yeah, I hope maybe you see that. So this is a quick, anal a quick update, by the way. So, yes, now we are on German, 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 uh, DAX. So, what's really happening on DAX is, yes, the market is still on that stronger uh, sell-off or stronger downtrend. If you still remember, we did have this support area here. We did have this support. And then what is happening now is the market broke out of that support. And now it's pushing to the lower side. So, what we can do is we can try to go closer around that area and try just to understand what's really happening. You can see that, yes, I saw that uh, actually later yesterday uh, when the market is trying to push up. Yes, you can see that if maybe you took that signal, yes, you were going to be in a very nice profit. So this is the support that I was talking about. This is where the market was actually consolidating before taking that sell, which shows that, yes, the market is aggressively selling. If we go back and try to check what happened actually, you will be surprised, by the way, because this sell-offs, guys, now they're starting to get scarier. You see this area? The market reached that area last year. Sorry, not last year, 2020. Now this is crazy. Now this is crazy. So which means now the market can do whatever that it wants. It means the sell-off can be... Like seriously crazy. So, but by the way, 
uh, I'm planning uh, actually uh, this video is very is supposed to be very quick so as I'm already late so what do we see on on, on gold yes you can see very well that uh, we are on 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 that uh, sorry I went for hours on that stronger cell so whatever that we see here we can see that it's happening under this trend that's why we continue with that trend do you see that so that is something that we actually following and it helps us to see that oh the market is actually doing what the market is actually on a downtrend and we just continue with that trend yes the market did not actually go further than this and the market did not go uh, they not did not push up actually nice but below this area yes actually this is a very nice confirmation we should have a sell below that area as the market will keep pushing lower and lower i hope you see that i hope you see that so yes we are still on that stronger downtrend that's why we keep looking for those sell positions and that is actually happening so let's push to the next one which is us oil so we're still waiting for us oil for actually for us oil is still on that downtrend which is a good thing it means the prices maybe might start to go lower especially for oil so but what's really happening is the market reached the lowest level so the market might start to push the upside before going lower yes since the market is on a downtrend it means there's enough chance for the market to do what to keep pushing lower there is that chance for the market to keep pushing lower and lower i hope you see that i hope you understand that or maybe you see that so yeah i'm expecting that sell to continue i'm expecting that sell to continue unless maybe i see something happening if maybe the market is deciding maybe to break this uh, resistance or maybe breaking the outer one which is very strong there yes i can say you know what maybe the market is trying to get out but i don't really see that for now we can just wait for the market but for us who want to sell we can wait for the market to reach this area before we push we, we say the market can push lower something like that so let's push sorry sorry let's push to the upside uh us state us state i think i did send this signal yesterday in the group so what's really happening on us state yes we see some serious aggressive actually uh, sell-off we see some serious aggressive sell-off what's really happening here is yes the market is on this downtrend and when we check something which is very important when we check there we had a very nice and very strong uh, support by the way which was broken and then the market started to consolidate around this area and which makes our job to say you know what if the market start to break uh, this support here i was talking about that on our live session if the market breaks this area we are forced to take that sell and i sent a sell signal which shows that now it's trying to get into that profit but if maybe your stop loss was very tight i think maybe you were not going to last in that position i think the market was going to take you out very quick but yes we are still on that cell simple as that so let me check the time okay eight minutes yeah uh, i just want i don't really want to make this video very long uh, very long we still see a very nice sell. so quite similar to nasdaq this is also your uh, 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 quite similar to nasdaq i'm talking about uh sorry quite similar to us data not quite similar to nasdaq so what's really happening is is the trend is very strong and if we follow that trend only it means yes uh, the market actually we won't be, get that wrong uh, easily yes yesterday uh, we, we still remember that we tried to buy above that area and then the market rejected with us and then later the market tried to consolidate but when we go closer there we can easily see that yes the market actually was playing games with us around this support area we we're waiting for the market to a break out of that and now the market broke out of that i think i did send the signal later on but the market was just playing games now i'm expecting maybe the market to do what to keep pushing lower i hope my people did not close very early then the market can still keep going lower maybe up to ten thousand maybe up to ten ten thousand so but we don't know but as the market is on this sell uh, especially when they're still talking about increasing the interest rates just to 
reduce the inflation. So it means the stock market is still going to suffer that. I hope you understand that. So yeah, uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. This is Kenzo. If you want to be part of the team, you know what to do. You can just talk to me. Uh, for those who want to learn, there is the information. There is the packages that I offer. So if maybe you want, you are interested, just let me know. Just let me know. WhatsApp me or Telegram me. Thank you very much. This is Kenzo. Extra out Forex. Bye.